I was going to mention it, and then I was like, and then I forgot, and I was like, oh, glad you brought it up, actually. Um, so, firstly, this is just a draft. I put comments on him for to edit some stuff. So okay. this is just first cut. The big headshot with the ever. <laughs> of course. So, not to boast, but over the years I've driven just about every type of car. Fast cars, expensive cars, and today I'm stepping aside the rarest hardtop Mustang ever to exist. Amber, let me tell you exactly how rare this car is. Okay, I'm dying to hear. <laughs> so in 1964 and a half, Ford started making these Mustangs. And they were the only company to achieve a million cars. To celebrate that, Ford made this golden anniversary. They only made 50. There's only five that exist today. Only three are drivable. And this is the first one that was ever built. So by my calculations, you're saying this is a pretty important car. <laughs> this is an extremely rare car. That's amazing. So in terms of build, of course, it's rare, but in terms of specs, is it rare? It's no different than any other Mustang that was built. It's a 289 Seacoat car. They were all built the same way with the pony interior. Okay. Well, what caught my attention was actually the gold. <coughs> so the gold was actually the first time that they used this special code, and it's on the door tag. 111 is what indicates the golden anniversary and it has no color code because of the rarity. They didn't want anybody to copy the, the paint. So does that mean we're never going to see this exact to a T color around again? This is it. That's pretty cool. 50 cars. <laughs> so how did you come across it? My business partner was looking for a Mustang for his son. And believe it or not, his 14-year-old son, Andrew, found this car. Richard and Andrew talked me into this car, and they said, we, we have to restore it. Well, it sounds like you've got a gem on your hands here. It's pretty special to us. <laughs> now, is it a car that you drive these days or not really? I think you should find out. You knew what I was <laughs> angling for. Thank you. <laughs> you coming with me? <laughs> You're not Eric. No, I'm not. There is more of the story you need to know, Amber, and I would love to tell you about it. You must be Richard, then. I am, yes. I'm Eric's <laughs> business partner. So you and your son are the whole reason this came about. Absolutely. It's because of my son that we're in this very special, rare Mustang. When you stumbled across this, did you know it was so rare? Not a clue. It was not in the best condition at all. Uh, but we, you know, we wanted to find something for him to fix up and, and restore, just like I used to do. And uh, he did a little bit of research, and he found out that this was an extremely rare car. It was one of the 50 golden anniversary Mustangs. Do you mind me asking, Ben, if it was in such bad condition and you didn't know the rarity of it, was it a, was it a cheap find? It was relatively cheap, yes. <laughs> yes, it was, yes. Uh, but um, that's the reason why we bought the car, because we didn't have a lot of money. Uh, but uh, I was here to help him. A diamond in the rough. Yo, this is definitely a diamond in the rough, <laughs> that's for sure. There. So, how does it drive? Start the engine, let's okay. go. Oh yeah. Starts right up. <laughs> <laughs> On the dive. Nobody has ever <laughs> driven this car yep. more than I haven't that driven that a car that yeah, far steering for a little Even while. I've never Back to car. reality. Yeah, that's how they made it. <laughs> that's so. the way we're going to keep it. She's ripping corners. <laughs> On the inside, I mean, everything's brand new, but it still has that 1960s feel, doesn't it? Yes, yes. And then not everything is brand new, yes. Tell me about the restoration inside. The center console and everything is actually all original. The heating element is original. The, uh, the center piece going down the middle is original. All the chrome is also original on this part. We're talking to the uh, Ford Museum in uh, Dearborn, Michigan. Um, we're hoping that they take it. Uh, also, Peterson Museum in Beverly Hills is also, wow. it's going to go to one of those museums. That's and uh, I'm yeah, dying and I'm looking right? forward yeah. to it being in one of those museums. Yeah. I mean, is this something that you want people to go and admire? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is one of those cars that not everybody knows about. And uh, really, like you said, it's the rarest coupe ever for yeah. a Mustang. 
they're, they're, they, they only made 50, so that's the beauty part about it. You know, hopping in, I knew that it did have power steering or power brakes and things like that, but I really am surprised with how well it drives. It's so smooth. Uh, it picks up when you want it to. I mean, what sort of motor does that have in it? Believe it or not, this is the original 289 C code. No way! Yes, yes, and it only actually has 54,000 miles on it. Oh my god! This car sat for many years. <laughs>